Hi everyone, welcome back to ABC Design. Today we'll be talking about how to add presets in Adobe Photoshop CC which helps you to create images like this just using a single brushes, strokes and making an image like this to like this. So basically creating an original image and adding some layers on top of it with presets is damn easy. I'll be showing you how to use this by adding the presets and add a Photoshop CC 2018 version. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and take the picture which I used to add this sun rays on top of this picture. This is a previous file which I had worked on and I'm saving it before I carry on to the next file and I'm going ahead and opening the file which I want to use. So this is a picture which I had downloaded from Pixabay. Pixabay is a free uh, website where you can download images. I'm going ahead opening this. There it looks good and this is a good pixel resolution image and before going ahead editing this image, please make sure that you remove the lock and name it as original layer. So make this habit guys like before going ahead working on the image, if you want to keep it aside like I, as I mentioned here original layer, you can mention this layer as original and you can duplicate that layer then you can start working on it. At any part of time, if you feel that that uh, this image is not gonna make it up, and then you can just delete that layer and you can come back to the original layer again, you can duplicate it. So let's go ahead and let's see how we can add presets and how we can make, a, make use of them. This is so easy guys. So I'm going ahead and opening edit menu I'm really sorry you guys can't see. I'll make sure from next time everything is in the frame. Edit. And in edit, you have presets. And presets, you should go to preset manager. I'll repeat again. It's edit, presets, and preset manager. So in this, as you can see, these are the two brushes which I had used. And I had downloaded these brushes from BrushEasy which is a free website where you can download free presets and you can make use of them so this is the brush easy guys so here you have premium also i'm sorry for this you have premium part uh, presets also you can download premium presets and you can download free photoshop brushes and you can make use of them so for now i'm deleting these brushes so it's easy to delete and it's easy to add so I have deleted it and these are the uh, default brushes which I got from Adobe Photoshop CC and I'm loading it now. So these are the formats for presets. So .abr is your format. So now I'm selecting the two patterns, brush patterns which I want. One is flares and one is sunrise. So I'm selecting both of them and I'm loading them. So these patterns, I mean these presets are being named basing on the crea uh, basing on the uh, creators who had created this so when you're adding this if you're okay with the uh, name then it's fine if you feel that these names are catchy are not catchy and if you if you feel that these are really big please go ahead and change it basing on your need and uh, this I'll be changing as like it's easy guys you can just double click on it or you can select and rename so you'll be getting another window here and I'm mentioning as lens flare brushes I think it's good I'm double clicking on it and sunshine my bad sunshine brushes there you go I think it's good it looks good after having all these changes just press done and you are good to go with those brushes. So here we are done with the part, the first part of how to add presets in Adobe Photoshop. So now how to make use of them. 
so how to access I mean so press B B is the shortcut key to access brushes as you can see this is one of the lens flare which I had used previously so now I want to access the rest of the brushes which are in the packaged format and now I'll be going to my property bar and here you as you can see there are the brushes which I added just now so I'm accessing the sunshine first which I want to add so you can choose anything guys like this uh, you can see the number here 16 17 18 19 so this number basically it means degrees so I'm choosing the 30 number which which is coming here to my left and I want it I want the right side one because I, uh, I wanted to have it from right side I don't have any special reason for it so I'm just choosing the uh, 16th one there you go so as you can see I'm just adding it here and I am doing it in the wrong way so before start working on the image just go and add a new layer here and press command J to duplicate it so now this is my duplicate layer I can just rename it yeah I'm good with this and this I can mention as Sun so I'm choosing the color which I want yes I'm good so just go and click in the right corner boom there you go I got my rays here now I want to have some flares which I don't want to use the phot uh, what Photoshop has provided I want to use a preset which I, I added by myself so I'm going to flares just close this drop down and flares and just remove the brush I'm just pressing multiple times uh, you can see it's zooming out so this this flare is coming from the left side which I want to have it from the right side so I'll be choosing the number 30th yes I, I think I can make use of this just go to the corner add it here try try using them and make sure you you're making a good scene of it and uh, I want to reflect that rays on the cat, cat eyes kitty kitty eyes <sighs> my bad okay okay so yes I'm good so I'm good with the adding Sun and using the brush and now I want to smudge them into the background so what I'll be doing is I'll be adding some filter here I'm blurring them uh, I'm, I'll be adding some Gaussian blur on on it so you can see the difference here as soon as I add you can see the race got smudged into the background and now it looks so proper and it looks uh, nearly too realistic I can't say it realistic because in front of you only I made this all these changes so yeah so this is easy part and using a preset is not a bad thing using a preset is where you're saving your time and presets are there are, are there to save time only you can create your own uh, presets I'll be explaining how to create your own brush preset in the next video I hope you like this guys Please like, subscribe, share and comment. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, drop the uh, questions uh, in the comment. And I'll be dropping the link in the description where you can access this presets freely. Thank you guys. Peace.